Hello, Karina Essa here from Social Media Worldwide, and in this video, I want to share with you how to effectively use Twitter Analytics. Twitter Analytics is Twitter's built-in analytics feature that allows you to track the performance of your Twitter account. In other words, it's a free tool you can use to check how well your Twitter account is performing, as well as provides detailed information about your audience. There are many benefits to using Twitter Analytics. The first benefit is collecting information about your tweet impressions. In other words, how many times your tweets were displayed in people's news feeds. Another Another benefit is that it displays how many people visited your profile so you can see whether some of your efforts triggered a spike in profile visits. Twitter Analytics also displays how many mentions your tweets received. In other words, how many people mention you in their tweets by adding your username in their tweets or by sharing one of your tweets. A mention is like an endorsement and if the person who mentioned you is influential, it can really allow you to increase your followers and profile visits for free. Twitter Analytics also displays how many new followers you gained. Checking your Twitter analytics is important because it gives you the ability to see which tweets are performing the best so you can publish content that is aligned with what works best for you. Plus, if you notice a tweet has performed particularly well, you can turn the tweet into an ad. To check your Twitter analytics, simply log into your Twitter account and on the left hand side, click on the three dots. When you do, a menu bar will appear. Simply choose the tab called analytics. The Twitter Analytics dashboard is very easy to navigate. At the top of the home page, you'll see a summary of your account activity based on the past 28 days. Below the summary, you will see analytics for each past month. Simply scroll through the months and compare how each month performed. You might notice that during a certain month, you experience a spike in mentions. If that's the case, check which tweets were shared and what they have in common. If you notice that these tweets have something in common, maybe they all included a video, they all talked about the same topic, then this is a clear indication that you should publish similar content. Alternatively, if you notice that a lot of people are simply adding your username in their tweets, check the reason why they might be doing it. It's a great way to monitor your reputation as mentions can be positive or negative. If some mentions are negative, respond as fast as possible to stop any negativity spread and go out of control. Simply acknowledge people's feedback and offer a solution. If the mention is positive, then you'll want to acknowledge it too. You can acknowledge a positive mention in several ways. You can acknowledge it by responding to the tweet, saying something like, thank you for your mention. To do so, simply click on view tweet and then click on the double arrows and start typing your acknowledgement. The other way to acknowledge a positive mention is by following the person who has mentioned you if you don't already. You can do so by clicking on their name and then clicking on follow. You can also acknowledge someone who has mentioned you in a positive way by also mentioning them in your tweet. Simply add their username in the tweet you compose. Lastly, you can acknowledge a positive mention by engaging with the person's tweets, by either retweeting them, liking them, or leaving a positive comment. Simply go to their profile and start scrolling through their tweets and see which of them stand out for you to engage with. Another important metric under Twitter analytics is the top follower metric. This displays the most influential person you've gained as a follower within 30 days. This metric is important because by acknowledging who is the most influential follower you've just acquired, you can start building a stronger relationship with that person. Since they're already following you, you can send them a direct message, which is a personal message on Twitter. You can start by thanking them for following you and then send them free resources you think they might be interested in and ask more questions about them. Make sure that during the first few interactions, you don't ask them for any favors. Just focus on building a relationship as it can be very off-putting for people. Later, you can take advantage of the trust you've built to potentially ask for an endorsement or a promotion. Another important metric under Twitter analytics is the top tweet metric. This displays your most popular tweet of the month. This is beneficial in two ways. First, it gives you a clear indication of what type of content your audience is the most responsive to, so you can focus on creating similar content. The other benefit is that you can turn this tweet into an ad to scale your results because if a tweet performs well organically, chances are it will perform even better as a promoted tweet. Under the Twitter analytics section of your account, you'll also notice another tab called tweets. The tweet activity dashboard displays information for both promoted and organic tweets. You'll be able to see the performance of all your tweets during a period of 28 days, but you can choose the time frame you want to check metrics for by clicking on the calendar tab. Let's say you want to check the performance of your promoted tweets during the month of January. You would simply click on the calendar tab, then click on January and then click on promoted. The dashboard displays the number of tweet impressions, the number of engagements and the engagement rate of both promoted and organic tweets through charts. So you can quickly gauge the performance of your Twitter efforts and also compare results. 
Lastly, you can export any information into a CSV file should you want to easily share these metrics with someone without having to give them access to your Twitter account. The Tweet Activity Dashboard is particularly helpful to help you plan your content as it clearly indicates what is working better for you and avoid doing what doesn't resonate as much with your audience. If you also publish videos on Twitter and want to check the performance of your organic and promoted videos, then simply click on More and then select Videos from the drop-down menu. The Video Analytics Dashboard displays how many views your videos have had, how many minutes in total were viewed, and the completion rate of your videos. In other words, the percentage of people who watch your videos until the end. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please like the video. We've been getting hundreds of likes every single time and it motivates me every day to make new videos. I really appreciate your support with the likes and subscribers. So please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already.